Um, I've been getting better over over time, and it's been over five years that I've had PCS throughout a few different concussions. Um, but I've been seeing Dr. Cantu for a long time and just doing different treatments that have helped. And then I think a big piece of it is just learning to manage symptoms and just figuring out how to go day to day still having symptoms um, and just staying optimistic about different treatments and just keep getting better and better. So I started working on Headstrong last summer um, and the, the website officially came out in February. Um, but I really, I mean, I'd been involved with CLF for a long time and I still am. I sort of consider uh, Headstrong my side hustle to CLF. Um, but just really wanted a place to connect with other kids and, and a sort of a resource for them where they were getting real information about PCS, but especially where they could follow along with my story because I felt it was helpful to, to me to hear other people's stories and hear how they dealt with post-concussion syndrome. Um, and that helped me make choices throughout my recovery and just feel a sense of community and that um, there's other people who are going through this as well and that you're not struggling alone. So more to create a community and just to keep kids optimistic that you're gonna keep getting better um, and that there are lots of things to do and a lot of people that are going through this with you. Um, so yeah, I am looking forward to heading off to college this week to Georgetown. Um, just excited to meet new people and sort of figure out what I want to study. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, I think it's definitely important to talk to your doctor if you need any accommodations for school, but also just figuring out whether it be through neuro neuropsych testing or more just through your own experience, um, sort of where you feel um, that you need more help and then um, either reaching out to find resources or just kind of yourself finding new ways to study. That really helped me um, just to kind of frame it in a, in a new way. Um, but I think there's a lot of resources at whatever school you're at, whether you're in college or high school, and um, definitely reach out and get a hold of those resources and make sure that you're not like struggling alone. Um, but definitely be a self-advocate and just figure out what works for you. And it may you know, take a little longer to study. It, it can be frustrating sometimes, I know, but um, you're gonna find a way to do it for sure. And then you're gonna get better. Yeah, so through CLF and through my website Headstrong, I still talk to a lot of kids who are going through PCS as well, and I think it's really helpful to create a sense of community and just uh, connect with other kids who are going through something similar. Um, and some tips I have for school, definitely utilize naps. Naps are so underrated um, and can just really help give you a little boost maybe after school before you start doing homework. Um, and also, if you have struggles with your memory like I did, um, start studying early for tests and try using like different mnemonic devices to help you remember. It's been super helpful for me.